Oh, down. there we go. Connection available. We are live here at the Enterprise Center. Going to wait a little bit. People are going to get in here. The Blues, Blues win. The Blues are going to the Stanley Cup Finals. Yes, they are. That's insane. It's we're sitting. I can't even believe we're sitting here right now. Especially with how. I mean, okay. I can't believe we're sitting here now as a lifelong Blues fan. I can't believe we're sitting here more because of how this season went. We just got out of scrum after scrum. Everybody is just off the wall. I, I well, can't even form a well, sentence. You know what? Right now. I asked Tarasenko. I was like, "Look, you guys were last in January. Did you think you would be here?" He's like, "Go look at my interviews." He's like, "I kept telling you guys we had faith in this team. We knew this was possible, and we made it happen. So it's it's fun. It's good to see it happen for them." So the best thing. I saw, and I think everybody saw here, was Layla. Every Almost every single player yeah, came really out cool. to meet with Layla Anderson. Her and Colton Pareko had a really special moment there yeah, at the was. end. She goes, uh, or, yeah, she goes, this one's for, for you, buddy. Or, or uh, No, she goes, you did it, buddy, and jumped into the, his arms. Big old bear hug. She's been the inspiration behind this it's, team. It's funny because I asked him in the locker room what would be the first thing she, uh, he would say to Layla. And he's like... I don't know. This one's for you. He's like, you know, she's fought. She's been with us all season long since he could remember. And it was just great, you know, that she was able to fight and do what she was able to do. Yeah. And then she said, now the Blues have to go win four more. And if she could do what she could do, they could do that. The emotions are coming out of everybody here. Kelly Chase was doing interviews. Josh, he was in tears. What's your take so. on all this? I mean, what, what, put into words what this means for the city of St. Louis. <laughs> so many things. Oh, my goodness. This, this crowd, I made sure to get out of the media room come up here for the last horn and with that last goal and the last horn that's the loudest I've ever heard yeah, this really building yeah. back to Layla yeah that was super cool the Blues told me yesterday they had like a secret a secret plan for her that if they won they're gonna bring her down her down here and <laughs> that's play, actually down coming her <laughs> and play Gloria so I think they pulled that off because I came out in between uh, getting uh, helping you guys get scrums interviews in the in the locker room, and she's out here. They're blaring Gloria. Fifteen minutes later, I come out, and Colton Pareko is giving her a hat. Yeah, I talked to her before all that. Hug. She said lots of tears. I hope I'm not sure if if she's able, but I hope she gets to go to the Stanley Cup Finals. If not, she'll be here. Uh, yeah, she'll yeah. be here. She'll be here. Um, and we saw. Well, oh, the, they're the, already looking ahead to the Finals. They are looking ahead. Perron talked about last year how he was in it and his experience, and he said there's nothing he can tell the players about this, but that they'll be ready. They'll have to experience it themselves. There's no distractions. He said fans and family members may hit them up for some tickets, but he said, look, maybe we'll talk to you in a couple of weeks when we have a trophy and we can all celebrate then. So. One of the coolest parts post game too, Pat Maroon, his whole like family coming up, they're all crying. Oh, it got to me, man. The hometown, the hometown, the hometown kid going to the Stanley Cup Finals I, comes back home. I think it, the most exciting thing, well, I wouldn't say the most exciting thing. The thing that stood out to me most about all this tonight, every player said they were going to celebrate, but as soon as they wake up tomorrow morning, they're focused on Boston. They're already moving ahead, and that's what this Blues team has been doing the entire second half of the season, moving on, not focusing on one game. You know, I think. The way Bennington is playing right now, yeah. Tarasenko's coming together, Shin, Schwartz. This team is going to be really fun. Well, to I got to ask, Bennington, did he go to the podium? I'm guessing. I, I, so, I want to talk about this so bad. So, so okay, bad. this guy has got ice in his veins. I've never seen him celebrate. Dude, did, what, did he at least dude, smile in no. there? No. Kid, kid Jordan. <laughs> of course, like Jordan, if you see this, I doubt you will. But if you do, I, I love you. But please show some emotion. <laughs> I just feel like I, he just he's afraid to show his personality. Maybe he's just... Hey, it works. Stoic. I don't know, but he got up on the on the post game podium. It was Perron, Petro, and and Benner. The other call him Benner, Bennington. I just yeah, they call him Benner. Win Winnington. Call Benner. Winnington. So, that's that's like so, so Benner's up there, and they asked him a question. I think it was JT, Jim, Jim Thomas. He asked him. He was like, "Did you ever think, you know, you'd be up here? You know, five months ago, four months ago, you'd be up here?" And he was like, uh, "I wouldn't have put money on it." <laughs> and that's pretty much all he said. The hey, whole press conference, you know, but. Goalies say goalies are a little different, you know. Goalies, are, and it's working. It's working. I love him. Whatever he's got to do, you, man. And then Sammy Blay, they give Sammy Blay the paper, the, yeah. like the mock paper, if you will, of the, of this, of the dispatch. It says Gloria on yeah. it, and he, they, they they're telling him to hold it up and like pose for a picture, and he's like not even smiling. <laughs> Perron, Perron, we gave him a paper, and he's like, "What do you want me to do with it?" We're like, "Look yeah. at it, like act meanwhile, like you're happy about this." Meanwhile, if you're a baseball team, if you win the wild card, you're oh, popping yeah. champagne, you're going crazy. So they're they're still focused. On, uh, on unfinished business. Right? Well, they're right. focused on the next game, and the next they game should. they win will be the first game the, the Blues ever win in a Stanley Cup Finals. Been there three times, swept all three times. So it's yeah. going to be a big one. Guys, how old were your parents in 1970? Do you know? My dad was six. 
My mom was Both of my four. parents were in middle school or high school. Yeah. My, my, I wasn't even thought of it. That my time. mom was in kindergarten the last time the Blues made the Stanley Cup. Ozzy Smith was a freshman in high school. He couldn't even drive yet. <laughs> and the Beatles released Let It Be, their last record. That's the last time the Blues have made it to the Stanley Cup. Needless to say, St. Louis will be rocking. All the media outlets will be rocking the next couple of days because we yeah. have all this content to use. But in a couple of days, we'll be focusing on the task at hand, and that's trying to see what the Blues will need to do in order to beat the Bruins. Before we wrap this up, we've got to ask the big question. Do the Blues have a chance against the Bruins? Listen, they the, have Bruins a are, the Bruins are really good. Tuka Rask is as hot, if not hotter than Jordan Bennington, their goalie. Yeah. So, it's gonna be a dog man, fight. it's tough. Boston is easily the best team in the East this year. But nothing comes easy. Nothing no. comes easy hey, if you want to win the Stanley Cup final. I got a feeling. This just I'm makes the story against, that much better. I'm not betting against these no. guys. This right team you should. You work for a St. Louis station. You can't do <laughs> That's that. That's true. Okay, But this will just make the story that much better. I mean, all champions have to go through a lot. They have to persevere through a lot. They yeah. have to go through a lot of adversity. So it just makes the story that much better for them when they're old and can tell their kids and grandkids. All right, we'll let you guys go. We got so much stuff that we're going to put everywhere. Just be tuned in to Five on Your Side the next couple of Just go to Five on Your Side, everything. It's all going to come out. It's great. It's all great. And uh, Corey Miller, Josh Hamilton, Corey Miller. Hicks. Let's go Blues. Woo!